Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloveds. I will everyone is blessed and doing well on this Wednesday. All is wonderful in my world. I have zero complaints. I felt um, encouraged to do this reading. So we're going to go ahead, take a peeky peek, see what's coming and going out, going on with my beloveds. I welcome anyone that may be new. Uh, if you are new, welcome. My name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath, and I do pick up on messages, Claire audience. So you will hear music playing in the background. Um, right now, we have Luther Vandross, If This World Were Mine. So I am strongly picking up on a very masculine energy. Uh, that is really feeling uh, this very strong connection, this strong attraction. Uh, someone that could have uh, potentially chose another option or was really coming off hot and cold, giving you the mixed signals, kind of in and out, flighty, um, very impulsive. Um, and I feel this is because maybe they had other options, as I said. Uh, maybe you were in a rotation. Maybe they didn't realize or acknowledge the magnitude of how strongly they felt for you. Uh, but I feel that there's this long pause, uh, this silence uh, between you and this person. And I feel the more that this person uh, does not communicate with you, the stronger their feeling, the more intense I feel their feelings are growing for you. Um, this person could be at a distance because of the world reference. Um, I feel there's been major transformations and changes. Um, I'm hearing sudden upheaval. So something could have ended suddenly, unexpectedly. Uh, maybe this person friend zoned you. Maybe this person ghosted you. Uh, and the communication just completely ceased, stopped. Um, and now this person is reflecting back on their actions. I'm feeling a strong sense of remorse, regret, shame. Um, also agonizing, almost thinking of you day and night. Um, maybe you're picking up on that intuitively because Scorpios are very sensitive right now, very strongly uh, psychically uh, sensitive and you're picking up energy. Uh, you may be having a lot of lucid dreams. Maybe you're having a lot of divine interventions. Um, you could also be picking up on messages uh, telepathically, intuitively, maybe, maybe even via your dreams, getting that message a lot in your readings as of lately. Uh, but with this song, if this world were mine, I do feel this person thinks the world of you. This is something that could be like an aha moment for this person. So we're going to tap in, tune in. We're going to see what else comes out. That's just what I'm picking up um, intuitively. Um, for anyone that may be new again, my name is Q. Uh, this will be a general reading. Uh, so my spill is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. I know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon check rising, check your Venus, check your Mercury or Mars, just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, this message is also timeless. So whenever you see this video in your feed, uh, whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, if there's something within the title of the video that resonates with you, whenever you click on this video, that is the exact and divine timing that was intended for you all to do so. So let's go ahead and get some house cleaning done. I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala. Baba Ogun and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I love to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe. 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 So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start off with the numerology deck. Um, I always like to start off with the numerology. Bottom of the deck, we have manifestation. So many of you are master manifestors. I feel like you've learned through healing thyself how to channel energy, how to uh, be co-creators with source. I feel like if there was 
some sort of departure from a relationship or a person. Um, I do feel strongly that uh, in healing yourselves, you've learned uh, how to transmute uh, the pain, turn it into power. Some of you may have tapped in your, uh, into your uh, ability to be that alchemist, that magi. Um, but I do feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment coming in. Um, and this is also something that is a part of your karma. Um, eight is the number of the justice card in so I do feel like there's like wish fulfillment. Things are going to be handled fairly and justly for you. So if you've gone through a difficult time or if you were wronged, I strongly feel like there's going to be some sort of justification. Um, right now we have um, Capona Noriega featuring Ra Raekwon and Buster Rhymes. And this is called The Oath. So I do feel like a lot of you all, uh, because you remain just and perpendicular in your square, you're uh, able to receive some sort of blessing. Um, I feel like this is something that is going to be perceived as a wish fulfillment. So maybe during those moments of healing that self and loving that self, you've learned the value of um, self-respect. You've learned to ask for what you want uh, by, you know, holding your vision, uh, by remaining hopeful. Um, and by speaking what you desire into the ethers. So I do feel like there's something manifesting that is uh, in your perspective, a wish fulfillment, or maybe someone sees you as a wish fulfillment. This is an all pink card, um, but you can't tell because of the lighting, but this is all pink. So I do feel this is gonna bring a lot of emotional fulfillment. Um, and I am sensing, you know, again, that this could be some sort of wish fulfillment, something that's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy. Uh, we have not nature here on the split number 74, that's 11. So that's like a divine, a divine download. Maybe when you're out in nature, you receive a lot of downloads. You receive a lot of little nudges, a lot of synchronicities. Maybe you're bumping into certain animal totems. Um, maybe you were born in the year 1974. Maybe your solar return falls on November 11th, November 7th, November 4th. Um, I am sensing that when you're out in nature, there's like a heightened, uh, a heightened, excuse me, sense of um, divine communication. Uh, maybe when you're out in nature, uh, you feel more grounded. Um, you're able to release, you're able to uh, purge what no longer serves you. Maybe you just feel um connectivity out in nature. I feel whatever this is that you're manifesting, um, you're learning to manifest uh, things you know, quickly. It's almost like your manifestation skills, you're like a master manifester. So maybe you are naturally just attracting things to you as well because you've changed your vibration. Um, with the oath, I am sensing you could be manifesting some sort of love partnership because that is an all pink card. And as I said, I was picking up like wish fulfillment. So maybe some of you all have been praying and asking for a divine counterpart, a spiritual union, a twin flame connection or partnership. Um, I am seeing that you have taken on the role as a leader. Um, you've given people a lot of chances uh, and maybe you were feeling like that wounded warrior in that former relationship, but you've taken your power back. Those were the necessary changes you've had to make. And we can see here the healing. Um, and this is six, six. So maybe you and another person that is your divine counterpart are mirroring one another in regards to healing from past pains, wounds, and traumas. And I do feel like there's uh, some form of communication on a um, on a spiritual level, uh, more commu communication, as I said, telepathically, uh, maybe someone visits you uh, through astral traveling, maybe there's a lot of visiting through dreams, um, but I am sensing with this 6612, there's also this sense that you're healing from brokenheartedness, uh, being betrayed, deceived, uh, left out in the cold, abandoned, um, taken for granted even um, maybe feeling devalued in a relationship because I'm getting the three of swords from that 12 breakdown so there is a sense that you've been healing um, at a soul level healing from those past pains uh, wounds and traumas even you know those childhood traumas and now you're having some sort of passionate new start um, you're moving forward you're moving to the beat of your drum uh, there's a beautiful uh, beginning brand new beginning and the divine is granting you this um, I feel like you've made an oath or taken, you've taken some sort of oath to, um, 
not fall for the same okie doke again to not be duped to not be played so you may have your your boundaries up you may have set your standards higher um you're very particular about who you're around and it's because you now know your worth and value um, so let we, and the name of this album is called The War Report. So maybe you realize that you were under spiritual warfare or there was some sort of spiritual attack that you could have been under. So we're going to go ahead and cut the deck, see what's coming and going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. Move my headphone wire. Bottom of the deck, we got physical activity. So I am sensing, you know, because the 67 breaks down to 13. So you have been very proactive um, in this transformation that you're undergoing. The 13 is the number of the, um, is the 13th card, which is the death card in traditional tarot. So that is a card of manifesting, this uh, uh, of transformation, excuse me. So I feel like you've been very proactive in this change that you're undergoing in these changes that you have been experiencing. It's almost as if you have, you know, kind of like risen from the ashes. And with this all purple card, there's a sense that you're uh, very psychic, very, very sensitive to information. I also feel like, you know, with this uh, 67 breaking down to 13, that reduces to four. So I do feel like you've been very proactive in healing your heart chakra. You've been following, you know, some of the nudges and guidance of your ancestors, of your angels. Uh, they've been kind of leading you on the right path so as to heal yourself um, at a soul level so as not to stay stuck in a place of trauma, of pain. Um, and so you could really do this work. Uh, we have um, Iman Omar, I'm sorry, Xavier Omar, and this is called Blind Man. So I do feel like someone could have also been very blind. Um, maybe they were deceiving themselves, but they were very inactive. They were not very uh, reciprocal when it came to showing love, when it came to um reciprocating the love that you gave them because this 67 like I said that reduces to 13 so there was some sort of painful ending a sudden loss um and it was this was something that made you feel like it was like a death you know this connection was that that profound to you it was that strong to you and for someone not to take the initiative or to take action towards you um it's almost as if they were blind to connection and um i do feel like you know man maybe now there's this epiphany this aha moment because someone is saying you're so beautiful girl a blind man can love you and remember we had if this world were mine so there is a sense now that someone's having some sort of epiphany and maybe this time around when they come back because the death is 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 almost like a re resurrection uh someone is resurrecting from the dead someone could be returning from the dead someone that now realizes their love for you. someone that really realizes that they have to be uh, very proactive. They have to show, they have to let their actions match their words when it comes to you, this connection and how they feel. Um, underneath that, there's been some changes. This person has made a lot of internal changes. They've also healed their heart chakra. They've gone through enormous pain, which has, you know, prevented them from being able to trust in relationships. Um, and also it has prevented them from being open, uh, from allowing themselves to be vulnerable. I feel like this person sees your beauty uh, is is more than just something physical. They could see your internal beauty. And I feel like that's what's radiating right now. This is what's attracting them to you. And I feel like they've made these changes. And with this number 14, the throat chakra, they could absolutely want to uh, communicate with you and express these things to you and just share with you uh, what it is that they have um, come to, you know, this epiphany that they have, may have had. So this is someone who's been making a lot of internal changes uh, to heal themselves so that when they do come towards you, um, they're well balanced. They are in harmony. They're in sync with you. So this is beautiful. So let's see <clears throat> who is the person Scorpio is attracting. So your overall energy is uh, physical activity. What did I say? This person is going to make the effort. This is someone that wasn't making the effort before and see that's the number 13. So this was someone that could have been in state, you know, unstable in the past, you know, maybe even emotionally they were unstable. Um, I wish I could see the real colors of these cards because it does make a difference. But this lighting is really affecting that uh, because these cards look different colors. Let me see if I put it up closer. 
I don't know. I, I don't know if that's yellow. I don't know what color it is. But, you know, with the 13, I do feel like, you know, someone's lack of effort, someone's lack of uh, taking initiative is what may have really, um, it really um, hindered this connection. It really caused a lot of confusion, a lot of discourse, um, and ultimately the ending of this connection. But I feel like someone now realizes um, after going through some sort of, like I said, an epiphany or having that grand moment of um, aha, they're seeing now that their lack of effort, their lack of taking initiative, their lack of um, you know, being reciprocal in this connection is what could have uh, ultimately, you know, destroyed this connection. Um, and this person realizes now that they love you because this 13 breaks down to four. So they're realizing their feelings are deeper than they may have even initially um, admitted to themselves. Uh, but now they realize this, um, how they feel about you. This could be somebody that you may have lived around, someone you may have worked with. Uh, this could be someone that sees you as um, they see your worth and your value now. They see you as someone uh, very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Um, we have Oshun playing, and this is called Shango. Um, so I do feel like this person sees you as the divine feminine, and they see you as their divine, uh, and they see themselves as your divine masculine. Um, this person is wants to rise in love. I just saw 1616. So there is a very spiritual connection, a very spiritual um, bond, I feel the two of you share, which is why I was picking up on a lot of intuitive and telepathic and um, lucid dream activity. Uh, this is a spiritual connection. But this is double four. But I feel like even more importantly, this is saying the both of you love one another. Um, what Oshun is singing in the song is she's saying, I want to rise in love. Um, so so a lot of people uh, tend to say falling in love, but in this song, they say rise in love. So this is about, you know, ascension growth. Um, this is about building. This person could see themselves building a family, a nucleus with you. This is environment. So they do feel you ground them. Uh, they do feel this connection can grow with time, that they want to be your support system. They feel this strong magnetic pull and connection. And they also feel that you are like a divine feminine, um, that you are their wish for fulfillment. Uh, they may dream about you a lot. They may like, uh, as I said, you know, they could keep um, tabs on you. I do sense that this person does watch you online, or maybe they look at your videos or your pictures. They look at something of you uh, quite frequently. I just get a sense that you're constantly like in their thoughts. So if they don't live in your area, if there is distance, because I was picking up on that, um, this person may have some photos of you that they may keep locked away on a phone or in an email, um, you know, but they do have some sense of um, looking at you. And I feel like they look at those photos often. So this person definitely um, feels this connection. I feel like you also will feel a strong connection with this person as well, because this is double fours, as I said, and I feel like both of you have done your work separately um, on yourselves. But when you come together, you're going to feel the magnitude, like I said, of this connection. So how does this person Scorpio is attracting feel about our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit? Happy ending. They feel like you bring joy, happiness, peace. This person also feels like they've manifested you or you are um, the very manifestation of their dreams. Like you embody everything that they have wished for, hoped for. Um, this person sees you as someone that brings light into their life, joy into their life. Um, they feel I'm hearing the word completion. Um, I also feel like this person sees you as the divine feminine because this 93 reduces to 12 and that's three. So that's the empress energy. So they see you as someone very abundant, very powerful, very nurturing, very tender, loving, caring, kind, sweet, but you're also a go-getter. You have your own. So you're, you're someone who knows how to um, co-create. You're a master manifester. Um, you're beautiful. You attract everything you desire. It's like you know your worth, you know your value. So you have a strong sense of self-love, self-worth, and self-value. And so this person does see themselves coming in and building with you. Um, they see you as very creative, uh, very talented, very gifted. Um, you're just like a rare breed. 
You know, you're just like that person that's just embodies strength. You you give off this this aura of of confidence, and this is something very attractive to them. Um, with change, maybe you've changed and evolved into this person, and this is something that really magnetically draws them to you as well. So we have change here. So I do feel like you know maybe the change uh, is in the air in regards to this connection. There's a change. Um, that is, um, you're on the precipice of change, uh, with this five, I feel like communication is going to change, um, the context of the connection or change the, the, uh, dynamic, I should say of the connection. Um, but this person does see themselves as, uh, desiring to be more vulnerable, um, wanting to open up more. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit of love and light. Thank you. Karmic completion. So somebody's wrapping up a cycle. Someone's absolutely healing a child wounds, childhood issues. I feel like there's a mirroring. This is completion. So there's a completion of a cycle. This is the ending. This is done, done, thin. So whatever's hidden is if you are in separation with someone, if someone did walk away from you to go in another direction, I do feel strongly that this person is coming back because they realize that the relationship with you is more serious than they've initially let on or that they even may have known. But they are they're wrapping up some sort of karmic relationship uh, or relationship because <laughs> this person is like you know this is a gray card um and this is red on them in the middle so they there was a lot of toxicity um it was very gloomy doomy type of connection um i feel like you know there was a, a codependency a lot of attachment issues addictions um and so this is really like somebody who's breaking free for the first time um we got music so I do feel like, you know, maybe you and this person share uh, an affinity towards the same genre of music. Maybe you both used to sit back and listen to music. Maybe you share a favorite love song or a favorite uh, hip hop song, a favorite country song, pop song, a favorite R&B song, a favorite soul song, classic song, whatever it is. You, you share a favorite song or you just share the same likeness uh, to music. Maybe the divine is saying with this song here. Um, this is called protect yourself. And this is also by Oshun. So maybe this person, as I said, um, they they were protecting you, um, by disconnecting from the connection because they were dealing with a karmic and I'm hearing an succubus. So this was somebody who had a lot of attachments to them. Um, and they did not want to pull you in to that toxicity. So with protect yourself, I do feel like the divine saying uh, to continue to protect yourself by means of wearing your amulets, wearing your talismans, doing your spiritual baths, praying over yourselves, um, working with energy, you know, lighting your candles, doing your protection rituals. Um, there is an alarm going off on this song. So I do feel like this is absolutely, uh, you know, confirmation. So with karmic completion, maybe this karmic is uh, trying to attack, trying to send some sort of attack. So just be mindful of that as well, because that was protect yourself. Um, so let's see, what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? And we have LL Cool J, and this is called your jingling baby. So this person was trying to play it cool and calm. You know, they was trying to act all smooth and suave or trying to act unbothered. But really deep down inside, it was like they, they really like they, they're, they're exploding 23, 23. So, yeah, th this is like an explosion. This is like feelings are intensifying. Uh, we got domestic harmony. So this person is absolutely aware of how profound this connection is. I feel like, you know, that's why this is hidden in the energy because they have to first release something in order to be able to come towards you. As I said in the beginning, I was feeling like somebody may have chose another option or somebody may have been separated from you because we had the world reference. So I do feel like there was some sort of sudden ending, unexpected ending. Somebody like a friend joined you. Somebody could have gaslight, you know, um, ghosted you, uh, but there was a lot of, and, and gaslighted came out. So maybe there was a lot of gaslighting, a lot of deception, a lot of betrayal. Um, and, and, and absolutely within this karmic connection, all of those things, uh, are, are always very relevant. Um, you know, in learning these karmic lessons is to learn how to better, you know, better, um, just how to be better 
in a connection. But I feel this person sees that they could have this harmony, this synergy with you, because they do have love. You know, there's green on the inside of this this uh, symbol here. So they do have a lot of love. I feel like this is an ending because this is 10 and this is also 10. So I do feel like, you know, whatever harmony they may have felt in a connection, it has since dissolved. And they're looking for a passionate new start. Um, I also feel like this person feels like you complete them. Um, they do feel this sense of like, you know, happy house, happy spouse with you. Like that's something that they would have without a question um, with domestic harmony. We saw that, you know, the happy ending. So they, they, they do feel like you bring a sense of groundedness, like you ground them, like they feel protected. They feel like they're in a safe space with you. So that's beautiful. So the bottom of the deck, we got spirituality. I can't make this up. This is a spiritual union, a twin flame, a soulmate. This is a kindred spirit, seven, seven. So both of you are highly intuitive highly sensitive to energy you speak energy you feel energy and more importantly this person communicates with you um spiritually so with your jingling baby i do feel like maybe there's a sense that this person's very uh sexually attracted to you um they love your physique they love your your anatomy the female anatomy or they love the way that you're built um they love that you are very dapper debonair you take care of yourself this is someone that is really like they see you as their beloved their baby their love um and we see here that with surrender um, there's going to be communication and maybe you've been very guarded. Maybe you've been blocking communication. Maybe you've, like I said, uh, because there was this sudden un unexpected ending, you could have like said, standards or set your guard up you set healthy boundaries and so I feel like there's communication coming like you know verbal communication but as I said someone is just kind of like reaching out to you um and holding on to you energetically um but I do feel like the divine is saying be receptive be open because there is going to be a change um in that regard so let's go ahead we're going to get some messages from the deck I created to clarify Let's see. So manifest that shit just flew out. So what did I say? Remember we had uh, manifestation come out with the numerology deck. So you are manifesting this, this divine masculine or this divine feminine that's coming towards you because you've discovered your power. You realize you're the alchemist. You realize that you are the conduit of change, that you transmute negativity, turn it into power. So that makes you the alchemist as above, so below, as within, so without. And you know how to utilize all of the elements around you. So this is a beautiful energy of star quality. You have a support system. Your angels are you have also the village it says support system the village people you can trust and depend on in crisis so I feel like you've leaned on a lot of people you know um, in those times of need especially after some sort of betrayal or after some sort of uh, sudden ending or something that just really um, you know ended on a bad note I do feel like you really made it your business to create um, boundaries to create a safe space uh, to remove yourself from anything that could have potentially been toxic um, and I feel like you know if, if if you didn't have anybody that you could trust maybe you thought that the person that betrayed you uh, and deceived you with someone that you could trust and maybe that turned out to be the furthest thing from the truth um, we have SWV and this is called rain. So rain is uh, water. It's a water element. That's your element. So maybe there was a lot of healing as we saw with that eight manifestation. Um, the star energy always speaks to deep healing, soul healing, healing at a soul level. Um, and I do feel like there's also been some sort of purge, um, a sense of release you know, letting go of the past, um, you know, just kind of like recharging yourselves as well. And this has brought you to a place of happiness, a place of, you know, content, contentment. You know, you're, you're feeling more fulfilled, more overjoyed. Uh, and I feel like it's because you've let go of something that was really, um, and it, it was really negative. It was really affecting your happiness and your joy. Um, give me one moment. Let me get comfortable. All right. So, so, yeah, so frenemies, it says they don't really rock with you. And it says um, they don't really rock with you like that. So that's what I feel like you all had to learn from. And that's what you were healing from is that you discovered that the people you were calling friend, people you were calling your family, your family, your homie, your sister and your brethren, people that you were calling those things, they turned out to be enemies. And so this card wants to go. They want it wants to be exposed. So it says 
only calls with bad news. It's time to stop accepting those calls for your peace of mind. So if you have anybody like that, and remember, I was just um, picking, I was just speaking on frenemies. So if this is somebody that you're dealing with, and I feel like this is a bonus message. So some of y'all know who this is. Somebody that just constantly calls you with bad news, that never has anything good to build or add on to the conversation, is always on some woe is me, self-loathing, complaining. Cut that energy off because it affects you. And with rain down on me, that's what they do. It's like they rain on your parade. When you're up, when you're in a high vibration, this person will call and sabotage those moments. So it's really time to like clip, clip your wings, cut your losses, let that energy go so that you can, you know, have this, this happiness, this joy, this peace so that you can stay in um, in harmony, you know? Um, so we got good things. Take time to create patience, young grasshopper here. So, you know, you've been waiting very patiently and the vine has recognized that. Um, there goes mama Oshun. Remember, o remember Oshun was singing, uh, Shango. So you are very attractive. You're attracting everything, everyone to you because you're vibrating on this, the, this vib you're vibrating on a frequency of love you know um you are the very definition of beauty um you are attracting people places things circumstances um good things to you you know people are finding you to be very sexy um and i feel like for many of you all you're looking for that divine counterpart and the divine is telling you patience you know what you're asking for is coming see that love and happiness spiritual union is what you're attracting and with rain on me, you just want love to shower on you. You know, you, want, you know, love to just shower down upon you. And that's what you have. You have it coming. You know, I feel like there's blessings and wish fulfillment coming in. So it says, say less actions, speak louder than words. And what did I say? This is clarifying physical activity. So this person wasn't very active. They did not reciprocate. Um, they definitely... They really made a lot of empty promises. Uh, this person that caused, you know, the death of this connection, it was like this person promised you this, this and that, or may have said a lot of things, but you didn't see much action. And so this person said less, they, but they didn't do much. Um, so it's just like, you know, now, a day, now this person knows that they have to be more active. They're going to have to be more um they're going to have to show and prove, if you will, um, in order to get you to trust them, in order to get you to open up. Um, right now, we have Lenny Kravitz, and this is called Fly Away. So, yeah, this is that person that was constantly like in and out, impulsive, flighty, giving you mixed signals, hot and cold. Um, you know, just kind of like one minute they're here, next minute they're not because they was bred from me. So this person would come in, rush in like a knight. Um, and then they would just disappear, fly away. Um, so I do feel like, you know, that was the person that made a lot of false promises. Um, and you know, their actions didn't really say much. They were not reciprocal. They didn't mean anything that they said. And so I do feel like you really protected yourself from that energy. Um, we have wear your protective jewelry ambulance. Didn't I just say that because I was picking up with that song, Oshun, protect yourself, that you have somebody that could be like, you know, really like, um, you know, evil eye in you, uh, eyeballing you, watching you, stalking you, studying you. Um, we have effort here. So with this 13, that's the death card. So there is a sense that somebody is going to come towards you to make an effort. Uh, but first they have to leave, you know, they have to leave someone. They got to walk away, fly away from another person in order to come towards you. And maybe the person they're running away from uh, to come towards you, 3333. Three, 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 Nine twelve. 12 um that's going to cause that person heartbreak uh and they're going to be evil eyeing you and maybe that person is going to throw something um you know some sort of negative energy uh bad juju uh towards the person that could be coming towards you and this could also you know guilty by association one of those things so that's why the divine is forewarning you to protect yourself um but they're also saying that this union is also protected so be mindful but somebody knows that they want to leave you know because he's saying i want to fly away i want to i want to get away i want to fly away yeah 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 
So that's what he wants to do. He wants to get away and he wants to come towards you and make the effort. So why is this effort card here for the person Scorpio is attracting? They have a message of love and of light, divine spirit. Thank you, spirit. And that came out. See that? Treat yourself. You deserve it. And it says um, self-love is the best love. So this person isn't feeling a lot of love in the connection that they're in. They feel that it's done. It's dead. It's thinking. It's buried. And it can't be resurrected because this person realizes now what they truly desire. They realize their heart is with you. And they want to get away from whatever this is, this karmic relationship. See that? Blocka, blocka, blocka. I think it's not. A. So this is what this person is trying to do. Block this karmic because remember, this is what's hidden. So they're dealing with a karmic. And the song that's saying is, the song that's playing is Lenny Kravitz. I want to get away. I want to, uh, I want to get away. I want to fly away. And so this is what this person is trying to do. They're trying to create, um, you know, a, a safe space so that they can do this, so that they can, you know, get away from this toxic energy um, because they know that they deserve better and they know that they want to come in and they want to treat you right um, because they feel like you bring them happiness. This says love and happiness, spiritual union. We're about to clarify happy ending. So this person feels you bring a lot of joy, a lot of laughter. Uh, you bring love and light into the situation. And they also feel a very spiritual connection, soul tied to you. And that's why they want to get away from whatever this toxicity is. Uh, we have K. John, and this is called What's Really Good. And the name of this album is called I Get Around. So they was definitely getting around. They was playing, like I said, the player player. Um, and the player could have got played by somebody they played you for. So now they want to leave. Now they're trying to block that, that karmic. I was hearing incubus succubus. So it could have been a sexual connection um, solely, you know, and they had to learn, um, you know, the value of, of, you know, more meaningful connections. But I do feel like, you know, what's really good, this person may just pop up on the grid and reach out to you and say, hey, what's good? How are you? What's going on in your world? Um, I feel like it could lead to a happy ending, some sort of communication, because they do have uh, a lot of love. They do see you as uh, someone very, very attractive. Um, and someone who's grown, someone who's mature, um, someone that can add on, they could build with, um, you know, someone that has um, a sense of self-worth, you know, purpose. So why is a uh, happy ending here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is a happy ending here for how this person Scorpio is attracting feels about our beloved Scorpios? Why is happy ending? Okay, so those two cards. Thank you. So we have dreams. Don't forget them. What did I say? This person feels that your wish fulfillment. They haven't forgotten about you. So even if you're not communicating, this person thinks about you a lot. Like I said, they could be having a lot of dream activity. You know, they could be dreaming of you when they close their eyes. It says they are more than something you wake up from. Believe. So this person has been holding on to hope. They've been manifesting you, I feel, also. You know, because they see you as their the yang to their yin, yin to their yang. And like I said, with, you know, Kajan, what's really good this I mean, what's um, yeah, what's really good. I do feel like this person does um, feel you're like their divine feminine because this is featuring Lady T. So, you know, the lady is also seen as the empress, the divine feminine. So we have also success. See that they feel like they could have a successful connection. stability, Emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. They feel like they could grow and build. They feel like you would be a great support system. And look at this analysis, paralysis, stop overthinking. This person's up in their head. This is self-sabotage. Overthinking, analyzing, anxiety, ruminating, pining, not communicating, wanting to get things off their chest. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to get out of this karmic relationship, what to do, what to say. And it says, you know, ultimately, you know, they realize that there's nothing good in this connection. That it's it's reached it's 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 you know the breaking point. They've reached their breaking point, but they're up in their head a lot. This is self sabotage. This is also deception, like telling themselves all the reasons why something's not working, or telling themselves you know almost like talking themselves out of doing something by you know making up the reasons why it won't work, or vice versa. Like this is just, but they know deep down that they could have this happy ending with you. Because they see you as that wish fulfillment. They see you as someone very healing, loving, nurturing, you know, someone successful, self-made, you know, you have a lot to offer. 
So why is karmic completion here for what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Why is karmic completion here for what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And the bottom of the deck, we have the chemistry is real. I can't make this up. Twin flame. You can't fake chemistry. You can't fake synergy. You can't fake energy. You know, this person feels a deep connection with you. And there is distance because we have Nas and this is called locomotive. And so locomotive is like a vehicle, a car, you know, it could be, I think it's a car part. So this person could be at a distance and trying to figure out how to travel or how to um, strategize a plan to come toward you, to see you. Uh, we got spiritual baths are necessary, karmic completion. What did I say? That karmic could definitely be doing some sort of love spells on this person, binding spells, some sort of rituals. So as to keep this person stuck because we have, um, you know, spiritual baths are necessary. And remember earlier we had Oshun and it said protect yourself when we was talking about this card also. So you do have um, a strong need to protect yourself because someone could see like when, when you have chemistry with somebody or when there's a synergy with someone, anybody watching can feel it, can see it. Because it's just, it's like you don't even have to speak words. You could just feel the connection between two people. And I feel like whoever this comment is, they know this person is into you. 40-40. So that's 4-4. Four, four. They know that they see you as wish fulfillment. They know that they have prayed for you, wished for you. They know that they have been trying to manifest you back into their life. And they've inserted themselves in the way to block this connection. Their sole purpose is to block these beautiful connections to be that hindrance to be, you know, that 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 stick in the wheel, if you will. You know what I'm saying? And with locomotive, this person is trying to, you know, stop this person from moving forward. But you have to, you know, trust in the process. I feel like with, you know, because this is featuring large professor. So I feel like the person you're dealing with is very wise, very intelligent, because as I said, they're just as psychic and intuitive as you are. And I feel like this person is just as in tune as to this connection, how profound this connection is or the magnitude of the connection they have with you. And we have he loves me. She loves me not. And this could be the reason why there's there was these this this mixed signal also, because this karmic serves themselves. This is somebody that seduces somebody that entices somebody that does a lot of things to um, cause confusion in relationships and with spiritual baths are necessary. They could be doing some sort of juju, like I said, or love spells, but it's because they know the intensity of this connection. The chemistry is real. It says words unspoken love. So they know this person loves you because maybe they found out about you. You know, maybe they found out about you and maybe that's why, like I said, this person, I feel like the person you're attracting could have blocked you to protect you from this psycho, uh, you know, karmic because they know how psychotic this person is. So it's like they're waiting um, for the opportunity to walk away, you know, so that they could come toward you, you know, when the when the coast is clear. Because remember, we had patience, young grasshopper, um, you know, um, uh, what did it say? I forgot. But it was basically just telling you to be patient, you know. So why is domestic harmony here for the um, outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Why is uh, domestic harmony here? Okay, so I see a couple of messages. What did I say? I can't make this up. It says Miss Stress is what they call me, and I answer to it. No shame. So this is somebody that loves breaking up happy homes, that loves to, you know, sabotage connections. And this is why it requires you to be spiritually strong, because when you are not like taking your spiritual baths and protecting yourselves and wearing your protective, uh, you know, um, ambulance or praying over yourself in your union, you can succumb to this type of low frequency energy vampire energy. This, this is just like an energy vampire. Like I said, incubus, succubus, the mistress, all she good for is ucking and ucking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to say the words. Effing and essing. You know, that's all she good for. And the same thing applies to the masculine. So if this ain't a mistress, this is that other guy. This is that other man. You know, all they good for is, you know, picking them up, taking them for, some, for a bite to eat, and then going to the hotel, to the telly. You know what I'm saying? And with analysis paralysis, somebody got somebody up in their head. They're playing a lot of games. And so let's see what we got. Let me let me see. I want to get another message. So with domestic harmony, they, 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 this is an ending, though. So this domestic harmony, the jig is up. I'm hearing the jig is up. 
You know, somebody was getting, um, and we got I Need a Girl playing by um, Trey Songs. So I need a girl. This person thought that they needed a girl, and that's exactly what they got, a girl. They didn't get a woman. They didn't get a mature uh, woman. They didn't get that divine feminine. They got a girl. They got somebody that took pride in being the other chick, the side chick, the kickstand. Ah, uh, look at that. Dun Dun Finn came out. Oh, my computer froze up. So Dun Dun Finn. So this person is done, and this is a 10. So it says domestic harmony. So whatever, you know, like I said, this person could have bumped into uh, themselves because you attract what you are. And I just saw four, 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 four. So this is a spiritual connection. I feel like the divine ancestors are aligning you with this person. We got the world card on the bottom of the deck. And remember, we had um, Luther Vandross, if this world is mine. So there is a sense that there's distance. There is a sense that this person's wrapping up a cycle um, with this karmic. And we see that here. We got Dun Dun Finn. They're blocking this person. And we have um, karmic completion. So once this person has completed this, they're going to come looking for you. Because we got Trey Songs. I need a girl. And if you are masculine, just switch the roles. But this person now knows because they realize that somebody is a Debbie Downer. Somebody is a lying ass Larry. You know, hating ass Harry. And they, they over it. You know, and they're, they're more focused on the spiritual connection because that's what feels better. That's what they want to surrender to. You know, they want to surrender to that. That's the connection that they feel, you know, this, this, you know, mo most happiest with, you know. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some messages from Goddess Guidance and then we're going to wrap it up. So I see prosperity here on the bottom of the deck. So all that hard work and effort. Remember, this person sees you already as you know, very successful. And that's exactly what the divine uh, feminine is. She's a master manifester. She's successful. She's abundant. She has opulence. She knows how to create. You know, she births new ideas, new ways of thinking, babies. So you have blessings coming in. This is like rewards, recognition. On the split, we got independent so you've learned to stand perpendicular on your square. You've learned that your independence is a foundation for your security, for your stability, and for your overall happiness. And we have these two cards that flew out as bonus messages. So it says independent. And then it says um, only calls with bad news. It's time to stop accepting those calls for your peace of mind. So I do feel like you've broke free from, you know, some sort of negative energy. I do feel like you, you, you know, you purged certain people. You purged certain circumstances. I also feel like a lot of y'all need to step outside of your house, go outside, take nature walks. You may need to do like a grounding ritual. Um, you could literally just take your shoes off and plant them in the dirt or in the earth, you know, in the grass and just kind of like meditate. Or you could go to a body of water um, and do a release ritual. Uh, but I do feel like you need to go out in nature. You need to have um, some time out in nature to connect, you know, with the with with the divine, with source. OK. And so we have right now. Um, this is by Musical Youth and this is called Past the Duchy. So somebody could have been like chief in a lot of herb. Maybe somebody was definitely, you know, being very immature and childish, um, you know, and, and they were just passing on opportunities. So there goes the world card again, endings. So you've ended a cycle. Somebody is really, you know, coming to some sort of epiphany because with that first eye wide open, I do feel like this is someone seeing things clearly. And as I said, there goes the world card again. I mean, the world reference. So there is distance. I do feel you've forgiven someone. You know, you've had to show forgiveness. You had to show compassion. Um, and that's how you were able to focus on the love and the light. That's how you were able to evolve, you know, because you were uh, very compassionate in those moments. Um, but I also feel that's what allowed for you to release as easy as you did because you had to forgive those who knew not what they was doing and you also had the ex to accept the apologies that people never even extended um with the 67 this was a, re a relationship that lacked reciprocity um una see that easy does it it says so the divine timing is of essence you know um this is what was meant to happen. Uh, this person wasn't making the effort because they was trapped in a karmic connection. Uh, but this person now realizes they need to treat themselves better. Um, you know, you ultimately teach people how to treat you. And this person realizes they got to block shit out 
that doesn't, you know, honor them, that doesn't treat them good, that doesn't make them feel good, um, because they know that they have deeper feelings, you know, like I said, there's this, this magnitude, um, when it comes to the attraction they have for you, so why is effort and treat yourself and block, block, block here for the person Scorpio is attracting, See that? Go outside. So they could have been trapped, you know. This is like being holed up in the house, uh, being in that hermit mode or being in that hanged man, not taking action, stuck, um, you know, not really making effort, you know, really kind of like self-sabotaging. Or maybe this is just somebody really soul searching, but going outside provides like fresh perspective. Um, it gives someone an ability to um, have... Uh, an evolved perspective uh but somebody has really been like trapped indoors lacking adventure kind of complacent um and i feel like they felt blocked uh maybe a relationship had them feeling that way maybe somebody like i said was doing some sort of juju kind of keeping them stuck and stagnant or restricting them or keeping them restrained but i feel like this passion is intensifying it's growing it's erupting within them something that has been lying dormant within them you know the fact that they haven't been making the effort you know it's come becoming more profound or more um obvious and so they're gonna you know come towards what they want because this is like being honest with it says be honest with yourself what is your heart's truest desire and their heart's truest desire is to go after you know what's going to make them feel love because it says you know self-love is the best love and maybe where they are right now they feel blocked you know they feel restricted they feel like they're not living their truth and they want to go seek more adventure they want to seek more passion more adventure out of life they feel complacent see that transformation you've evolved you've gone through major changes transformations, sudden upheavals deaths rebirths but you have stood on on your square and this is what you're having this happy ending because you have literally survived you know a lot of um unfortunate circumstances and this is why this person's looking at you as wish fulfillment because you've survived it and and you're not just a survivor you like you're thriving now you're flourishing and we have uh, greatest love of all playing by Whitney Houston so this person feels like you're the greatest love of all they are having this ep epiphany and this says happy ending. So they feel like you would provide that happy ending. They have this passion, this passion that ha they may never have professed, confessed or expressed to you. And it says you are experiencing change. And this is why you're receiving rewards, recognitions, blessings. You're receiving fortune, fame prosperity i can't make this up you're receiving blessings because of the the changes that you have made within yourself you know and i feel like what's hidden is also there's you know prosperity here there's prosperity the divine wants to pour out this blessing to you as well as to this person and it's because of you completing a cycle it's because you're also you know, adhering and being obedient to you know, whatever the instruction is from spirit to protect yourself, you know, from flighty in and out type of energy, people who, you know, make false promises. You're 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 absolutely receiving some sort of wish fulfillment and and you just gotta be receptive. That's why the divine was telling you to to surrender. You know, when you surrender to the divine, you relinquish any desire to control the narrative or control the situation. I feel like your person is also gonna receive some sort of blessing and wish fulfillment for releasing this karmic because this karmic has been blocking their blessings. That's what karmics do. And with greatest love of all, I feel like whatever has been blocked, delayed, um, whatever roadblocks have been placed before you um, and your person or, you know, between you and this person uh, and this connection, I feel like the love in and of itself is is going to um, is going to sustain you know, it's going to bring this union into fruition because that's the magnitude of this connection, the synergy, the chemistry. And with the world card here, this person feels you. They feel like, where have you been all their life? Like they know you're the one. And look what this says. Don't eat everybody's food. 
and don't go it says don't let everyone in your home so somebody could be doing like you know put there's a song um every time i think of witches brew i always hear method man wicked women give your blood and stew don't that make the stew witches brew so that's what this person could be doing and that's probably why this person was feeling a little stuck and stagnant. That's why this person was feeling a little holed up in the house like a prisoner, imprisoned with their thoughts. And that's why spiritual baths are necessary because somebody could be eating somebody's food and they could be doing some things, you know. And with that message there, don't eat everybody's food like that's profound right there, especially when the divine was saying protect yourself, you know, with Oshun song. And that's the divine feminine. So they want you to protect yourself. And that's what you've been doing. So let's see. Why is domestic harmony, mistress, dun dun fin here? With greatest love of all, I feel like this is absolutely your twin flame. This is a twin flame. This is a divine counterpart. And someone's trying to block it. Divine spirit. Why is domestic harmony, mistress, and dun dun fin? Thank you. Unconditional love. Can't make this up. This is someone that loves you unconditionally. Look at this. Infinite supply. You're going to be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. There's nothing that this mistress can do to block your blessings. We see that clearly. You are very protected, spiritually protected, guided. Your angels and ancestors, they got you. They're, they're promising that you have infinite supply. You also have prosperity. You also have the success. So you're master manifesting. You are the alchemist. You are the sole controller of your universe. You realize your power that you possess. Like I said, as above, so below. As within, so without. So everything that you desire is being provided for you. And I feel like it's because this mistress is getting removed out of the way. Because the love that you share with someone is unconditional. So regardless of... You know, the outward appearance, regardless of the fact that you and this person may not be in communication or contact, regardless of how things appear, it absolutely is a matter of divine timing. And we got um, Nipsey Hussle, and this is your, called Young Negus. And so this is, um, somebody was getting hustled, pretty much. I feel like this, this, this mistress was trying to hustle her way or his way. Uh, into somebody's pockets, into somebody's life so that they could have stability and security. You know, they could have been dealing with somebody just for the money because we got he loves me, he loves me not. And then karmic completion, but the prosperity card is here. So somebody is really successful. Somebody, you know, and with this divine feminine energy here, I do feel like, you know, this is somebody who's just kind of riding someone's coattails or attempting to. Maybe somebody was using someone for stability, for security. Maybe somebody was using them so that they could pay half of the bills. And now somebody's realizing, like, I need to treat myself before I start taking care of other people. I got to do for me. I got to be happy. I got to take care of me before I can take care of everybody else. But with Nipsey Hustle, I'm strongly feeling like, you know, somebody was um, getting hustled out of something. So like I said earlier, the play that could have played you could have got played. You know, they could have been dealing with that, that mistress. The mistress is all about one thing, money and control, you know, same as the masculine. Masculine want to be able to, you know, the, not masculine, but the the other man, you know what I'm saying? They're they not there to, to, to uh, commit, you know what I'm saying? They just there to get the booty when they want it, you know what I'm saying? And they there to, you know, to, to, to get a couple dollars if they could get that, but they're not there for commitment. They're just there to control the narrative. To just be in control. That's why it's somebody agrees to be the other person. Because they're a commitment foe. They don't want to be in a commitment. So they will mess up other people's happy homes. So as to, you know, be able to play these games. Because they're very immature. You know, we got, it's called Young Negus. And this is called, um, this is by Nipsey Hussle. So this was a very young, immature person. Let me get one more message from this. Because remember, we had only calls with bad news. So this is definitely that person that likes to rain on your parade. See that? We got relax, refresh, recharge. And then we have hone your skills, gifts, talents, practice makes perfect. So that's what y'all need to be focusing on, Scorpio. That's your bonus messages here. You know, take a break from anybody that's calling you with bad news all the time. And also withhold your, you know, being intimate. Celibacy. It says celibacy, no self-pleasure, maintaining self-control. So don't get 
it up because I was picking up that incubus succubus energy. And that's literally like a parasite. That's literally like somebody just leeching onto you and for life, you know, for um, a life force. But um, that's your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonated. Uh, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is. But love is love is love is love. I would like to give a shout out to the following. Antika Chandler, Kimberly Douglas, and Lakeisha Boone. I give love and light to you all. Thank you so much for your beautiful donations. I rotate that love to you infinitely. May you be blissed upon blissings upon blissings. Thank you so much for your kind, your kindness. I appreciate you so much. Um, and until next time, beloveds, I send love and light. Peace.